Hello, uh, my name is Pastor Mike, and I serve at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Elizabeth, Illinois. Uh, this is episode 36, which is titled, Blessings Despite Us. Now, in our previous episode, the Lord appeared before Isaac and made the same promise to him as he did to his father Abraham. Verses 3 and 4 are as follows, and I quote, God said, I will be with you and I will bless you and your offspring. I will give all these lands and in your offspring all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Now, if God made a promise like that to you, how would you respond? Would you respond with joy? Would you respond with faith, knowing that the Almighty God is with you and will bless you? Or would you respond with doubt? Our text for today is Genesis chapter 26, verses 6 through 16. So Isaac settled in Gerar. When the men of the place asked him about his wife, he said, She is my sister, for he feared to say my wife, thinking, lest the men of the place should kill me because of Rebekah, because she was attractive in appearance. When he had been there a long time, Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked out of a window and saw Isaac laughing with Rebekah, his wife. So Abimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, she is your wife. How then could you say she is my sister? Isaac said to him, Because I thought, lest I die because of her. Abimelech said, What is this you have done to us? One of the people might easily have lain with your wife, and you would have brought guilt upon us. So Abimelech warned all the people, saying, Whoever touches this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. And Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. The Lord blessed him. And the man became rich and gained more and more until he became very wealthy. He had possessions of flocks and herds and many servants, so that the Philistines envied him. Now the Philistines had stopped and filled with earth all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the days of Abraham his father. And Abimelech said to Isaac, Go away from us, for you are much mightier than we. So far, our text. After God made the same promise to Isaac as God made to his father Abraham, Isaac did not respond with faith, but rather with doubt. For out of fear, for his own well-being, Isaac committed the same sin that his father committed earlier. When men inquired about his wife, he said that she was his sister. And how did God respond to Isaac's sin? Well, we see right here in our text. God protected Rebecca, from committing adultery through an unlikely source, King Abimelech, the king of the Philistines. And not only that, but God also blessed Isaac 
with an abundant crop that year, reaping a hundredfold. Yes, a God blessed Isaac and Rebekah despite Isaac's sinfulness. And the same holds true today. We sin, yet God blesses us abundantly. Why does he do this? Why did he do it back then with Isaac and Rebekah? He didn't do it on account of their righteousness or on account of their works, no. But God blessed Isaac and Rebekah because he promised that he would. They didn't earn it, they didn't deserve it, yet God blessed them despite them because of his promise. Think about all of the blessings that we receive from God because of what God has promised to us. I will be with you. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be your God. You will be my people. I will save you through the gift of my Son. Jesus. Blessings. Blessings of eternal life, much more valuable than all the money in the world. Thanks be to God that he has blessed us, not on account of our worthiness, but on account of him and his promise. God's blessings.